Okay guys, today we're gonna do a fun drawing project. We're going to draw an origami paper crane. Um, now, I've always loved these. I love to make them. I love to look at them. I think that they just look really cool. And I think this will be a fun project for us to practice our lines and also our shading, okay? Now, the supplies you'll need, a uh, piece of paper, of course. Um, I'm going to use two different um, kinds of pens, a micron pen, which is really thin, and then a flare pen, which is a little bit thicker. Um, if you don't have different size pens, you can even just use a pencil. That's totally fine. And then to do the coloring, I'm going to use um, colored pencils. So once you have um, all of your supplies, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, um, we're going to draw basically the head of the crane, which will be a triangle. Um, now one thing, I wouldn't recommend doing this with a Sharpie unless you draw it really big, okay? Because some of the lines get really small and I think a Sharpie might be too thick for this. But if you have a pencil or a thinner pen, we can draw a triangle, kind of like a long skinny triangle that has a little bit of an angle to the front, I mean to the back. And then from this end, you're gonna just draw a straight line back towards this last angle, and then you're just going to draw a line up. Now from here, let's go down in a straight line about that big and then you're going to draw a straight line about this much and pause there for a second okay now from about here in where like the bird's chin is you're going to do a line straight down but stop there and then you're going to Draw an oblique or like an angled line back like that. Now it doesn't have to be perfect if it doesn't look exactly like mine, like always. Just keep going. I'm sure it'll still look cool at the end, okay? Now from this little angle here, you're gonna draw a line angled or oblique. all the way down until it meets this line. Now, if it doesn't meet that line, you're just gonna have to draw this one a little bit longer. There we go. This is really like a good triangle shape practice also. <laughs> okay, so from there you're gonna draw, you're gonna break this section out into another triangle like this. And then draw a straight line across, about that big. And this is going to be one of his wings. So you're gonna just continue this line down, basically until it meets almost the end, edge of your paper. So however much space you have, that's how big the wing can be, okay? And then you just go back up to meet this line. And then you can just draw a stripe, straight line, all the way down the middle. Actually, you can even do two. Now what's gonna really help this is when we color it and we add some, some shadow, because right now it's hard to tell what's going on with him. Um, okay, so for his back, we're gonna draw, again, kind of from this little section here, you're gonna draw a triangle. So you go up and down to meet this part of his wing. And then from the top of the triangle, just draw a line back towards the neck. Now 
Now, let's draw his tail. So from about one third of the way up the triangle, you're gonna draw, that's right, another triangle. It's kind of like a long skinny triangle. And we're almost done, we're just missing one wing. So the other wing is going to kind of just go straight up and over. So from here, from where this little intersection is, you're gonna draw a straight line up. And then you're going to draw an angled line up towards the top of your page. And then bring it back down towards the head. And wherever it touches on the neck, that's it, you're done. <laughs> that's where it ends, okay? And then you're just gonna draw a straight line, but it's gonna be a little bit angled. And then again, you kind of just keep drawing that until there. And do you see where this line kind of intersects? The last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a straight line over. And if your line doesn't meet the line that you just drew, you can just finish it off, okay? So there's our, our crane. Um, so now we're gonna add a little bit of color so that we can really kind of see what's going on with this. Um, so I'm gonna use colored pencil. I love colored pencil because it's gonna allow us to do really good shading. Um, if you're using a crayon, you may be able to do that as well. Markers, you won't really be able to do the, the shadow part, um, but I can, tell you how to do it if you are using marker. So the best thing to use would be colored pencil, okay? That's what I'm gonna use. So whatever color you wanna color your origami bird, you're gonna just color lightly, okay? Don't press down super hard because we're gonna have to press down harder in a little bit in order to give it some shadow and some dimension. Now origami paper has such cool patterns and we're going to add a little bit of color and pattern to our origami bird. Um, obviously you don't have to color yours the same way that I'm coloring mine. Just like always, you're the artist, so feel free to modify it or change it however you want to, okay? But I'm just gonna fill everything in. I'll do the pattern last. For now, I'm just gonna fill in the background color, so all pink. Now, if you're drawing with marker and you just colored over all of this, um, you're gonna add shadow by using a pencil, okay? So if you're using marker when you're done coloring in your crane, you're gonna grab a pencil to do the next part along with me, okay? All right, so to add shadow, now I colored lightly so that it's sort of a lighter pink. Um, so now to add shadow, I'm just gonna press down a little bit harder with my colored pencil. And I'll show you the areas on our crane that we need to add shadow, okay? So with your pencil, you're gonna press down harder here. So you're gonna color like a darker section. Now I press harder right close to the line and then I'm going to press a little lighter 
so that this kind of blends your color. So you start out by pressing really hard towards the line and then you go lighter and lighter to the edge. See how that makes it look like it's darker there and then it gets a little bit lighter towards the edge. So that's one place we're going to do a shadow. We're also going to do one here underneath the wing. So I'm pressing down harder there so it's the darkest that this color will get. And then I'm going to just go lighter and lighter and lighter until it's the same color that I already had there. And you might have to go over it a couple times in order to get it to look really smooth. Let's put a shadow here on the tail. And you're just going along the edge of your line. So dark and then lighter and lighter and lighter. And I'm just literally pressing down hard to get the darker color and then I'm just pressing down lighter and lighter and lighter. Okay. There would be another shadow here on this line. There would also be one here. So we'll start with this side. And this takes a lot of practice, okay? I've been doing this for a lot of years. I just think it's important to start to get practice with shading because this will really bring some of your drawings to the next level. Okay, I'm trying to think of where else there would be shadow. Probably in here. So shadow here along the neck and then also here. So it's kind of like shadow in two places. So I'm putting a dark line on this side and a dark line on that side. Okay. I just noticed I actually forgot one little line. So I'm picking back up my, my thin micron pen and I'm just adding my other little line there because I need to add a little shadow in there. And then the same goes for this wing. Now, if your pencil gets dull, so it's not that sharp anymore, feel free to, to sharpen it. Um, I might have to sharpen mine in a minute if I don't finish with my shadow. But I think I'm actually pretty much good. I'm just gonna do a little bit on his nose. Okay, there we go. So I'm actually done with the shadow for the pink part, okay? Now I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow underneath him. Um, so I'm grabbing a, a gray colored pencil. Now I'm just going to do the same thing I was doing with the pink. So you're just going to color pretty dark. And I'm just basically going around the edge of my bird there. And then I'm also going to put a dark line here, almost all the way to the end, end of my wing, but I'm gonna stop right before I get to the end, okay? Now, we're gonna have to do the same trick. You're gonna have to color lighter and lighter. You can kind of go in like a circular motion Okay, and I'm just kind of going in my circular motion. Now I'm gonna go back and forth in a regular coloring motion, but I'm coloring very lightly now. Because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to have like stripes on it. I don't want it to be streaky. 
So I'm just coloring very lightly. And so this is like the shadow on the table. So that's why it's kind of a little bit bigger than some of the shadows that we, that we did on the inside of the bird. Can't really smudge color pencil. If you're using a pencil, you could also kind of smudge it to get kind of that shadowy effect, but I can't smudge a colored pencil. Okay, and I think you would actually even see a little bit of a shadow here for his tail. So you can just color a little bit of a gray triangle, a very light gray triangle. See, now it looks like that's casting a shadow there. And actually the same would go for his beak, so the last little shadowy part, I'm just going to do a little bit of a shadowy spot there. There we go. So now we're done with our shadow. I just noticed one more thing I forgot to draw, and that is just kind of a line in the background. Um, just to make it look like he's on a table. So I'm just gonna draw a straight line here, jump over the whole thing, and then a little bit of a straight line there. Okay, so there's our origami paper crane. If you wanna do a pattern, now would be a good time to do it. Um, I'll actually do a pattern on it, but I'll speed up this part for you, okay? So I'll see you in a minute when my picture's totally done. There we go, here's my finished crane. Um, I added, added the pattern, the little purple crescent line shapes. And then I also added a thick um, contour line to the entire outside. Um, hopefully yours came out cool. These are always fun to make. Um, and thanks for joining me. Come back again and make more art with me soon, okay? Bye. If you guys liked making art with me today, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Hope to see you back here again soon.